Okay, first of all, Stephen, right here. Right here. Um, so, first of all, how is the ankle, and, and how was that disappointing for you that you had to go out uh, that, you know, I think right before half of that game, and you came back, but, you know, it just it didn't seem to have enough in the tank for you guys at the end. Yeah, I mean, ankle's still there. So, yeah, try to make it work. Um, yeah, dude, it was pretty shit going out. But, uh, yeah, try to get it all fixed up best I could and then uh, come back out. Mm -hmm. Oh, like now, looking back on it, yeah, pretty shit. But like during it, like nah, you're just like, cause you're you're in the you're in like the battle, like you know what I mean. You're in that mindset, like you know, whatever type of situation you're in, it's just like you're still trying to get the job done, cause the job is the only thing that matters, not like personal health, you know what I mean. So yeah, it's different. So yeah. Hey, Steven, this is your first year playing with the Grizzlies, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's talked about how fun and how special this team has been. How yeah. has your experience been here this year? Because we can't tell if you're having fun or not because your expression is always the same. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this. Fuck. Sorry, mate, I'll be more expressive. Um, no, dude, um, yeah, the, the year has been – it was amazing. Like, even when I first um, – you know, so when I first had meeting with Coach and whatnot, you kind of hear the thing, you know, you hear the same thing, like we're trying to build something, blah, 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 and it's just like, you know, it's kind of overused. Um, playing here during the season and like really getting understanding of just literally from the front office, medical staff, coaches, players, equipment, like everyone sings the same song, like everyone's on the same page and everything works really, really well. And there's just like a genuine care for one another. And Along with that, it's just like everyone's just having fun. But there's like a there's a really fine balance between like fun and work. And this organization plays that really, really well. So it's really enjoyable to be around. Um, again, like if you're in the locker room on a win or a loss, you, you probably wouldn't tell. You, you know, if you just didn't even watch the game, you just came in, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know. You know what I'm saying? Just like everyone keeps the same energy. And it's not goofy, it's just like, I don't know, just genuine, you know what I mean? Some people are helping out talking about the game, some people are joking about, blah, 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 but it's still productive. Yeah, so very special, very special group, man. Um, just the whole organization itself, very special organization. So, yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> smile, yeah, I got a smile more apparently, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, read my face better, mate, yeah. <laughs> Valanciunas leaves, you come in and fill that, that void, rather. And they play the <laughs> video at the beginning of the season to kind of make sure that there's no animosity lingering with the Memphis fans bringing you in. Do you remember that video? Oh, uh, the corny one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, yeah. It was a bit right. cheesy, eh? Okay, and then you have this huge impact. You break a franchise record. and. In doing all of that, Memphis is just riding with you every step of the way. Yeah. How was that for you to be embraced by Memphis, which it's not always so easy to embrace people. Yeah. For you to be able to do that in one season, what has that meant to you? That was brilliant, yeah, being accepted. Um, yeah, because obviously I had a history here before beforehand. Um, so my experience, that experience was a lot different to this one. You know what I mean? It was very hostile and whatnot, just normal fan behavior, right? And then, yeah. Being on the team is just, just a big change. Um, yeah, very welcoming and yeah. Again, I mean, I just try to be, well, not try to be. I'm just myself. You know what I mean, and just people were gravitating towards it and accepted me. And apparently, they call me Aquaman now, which is sick. Yeah, so <laughs> that's sick. So yeah, no, it's been brilliant. Yeah. We'll go to Michael then Drew. Uh, Steven, you were on, you know, some of those OKC teams that were right there, you know, from getting to the championship. Mm. Uh, this team, that's the goal. What do you think the Grizzlies need to do going forward to get that um, championship? I uh, need to do? Yeah. What, what does the team need to, to do? To get the championship? Um, I'm not sure. Like, the whatever the outcome is, I'm not sure. But the attention to detail on the process is, uh, um, I think, this organization is doing a really good job at honing in on those details. Um, whatever the outcome is, 
that's the outcome. You know what I mean? Can't focus on, I'm, I know that's the goal, but like to get there, especially favorable ones, you need to really kind of microscope on the, the process of it, right? So I think this team does, um, this organization does a really good job at doing that. So, I mean, I can't really poke holes at anything. It's just like next year is a completely new season, new teams, new players, like for the whole league. People change teams, change coaching staff, change systems, new analytics, new whatever, new strategies. So you can't really pick out one particular thing, but you can just focus on like say your values, whatever, like building your habits, getting better every day. It sounds like pretty vague, but like it's, it's pretty much that. You know I mean, you're just working towards something on that process, if that makes sense. Is that a good enough answer, Murray? I don't know, yeah, I just kind of yeah, saw it on Twitter before. Yeah. <laughs> just reading, I was trying to remember it. <laughs> Steven, I've got two things. First of all, uh, you played for a lot of good teams in the past. Yeah. How is this team different than maybe some of the other good teams you've played on in the past? How's it different? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah. You don't want to face value answer, obviously. Not too obvious. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, dude. Um, it's just, I mean, it's it's hard to, it's one of these things that are hard to compare um, just because it's different times. It's, it's similar to the whole, you know, this old player from 1960 to now. It's just like you can't do it because there's a lot of just too many variables, right? So it's just different though. But this team is special. You know what I mean? The locker room's great. Everyone sings the same song. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. And then before the season, I asked you uh, if you knew about the Peabody Ducks and you thought it was a hockey team. Did you ever get to go see the Peabody Ducks? Like, did you ever cross that off the list yet or no? No, nah, are, are these those little marching guys at the hotel? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I haven't I haven't done it yet. Um, see, yeah, I, knew, I mean, I guess i got to go see it. i got to go see it. i got to go see it, I think. Do young people do that? Little, Does kids. It, little kids do? Okay, little kids. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to show up, and I'm like, for, yeah. But is it like grandpa and then really young kids? I'm gonna guess. Because I'm like, I'm like in between. I don't want to be like the lame guy. Like, I'm, I'm gonna what's guess this lame dude doing, bro? Like, get out of here. This is for boomers, bro. I could be a duck master. I feel like you could. I feel like you got enough. Yeah, you're a grizzly, a starter. Yeah. Oh, th is that a real thing? I thought you were bloody yeah. oh, bullshit. No, no, yeah, yeah it's, you could be a duck master. Yeah, there's like, there's a guy who's like actually the duck master, Gosh. and then they have honorary, like celebrities, sure. and, you know. Put that on the Tinder profile, eh, mate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah duck master, mate. Oh, everyone will be swiping right on that, mate. Yeah. Fuck, duck master. Wow. Sexy stuff, huh? Shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Along the lines, you've sort of been asked a couple different questions about your past experiences. You, what, what, when you when a team goes through a, a playoff run, like like you guys just went through and you fall short, mm. what do you gain from that experience as a group, and what do you hope this group will gain from what you guys just went through these la this last month? Um, each individual is different. Yeah, I mean they'll they'll interpret it in their own way, um, but. The, the main thing is the experience of it and um, just hopefully you want the group to realize, which is this is pushed on by the coaches, this is why coaches are really important as well, kind of push the message that uh, every possession matters. You know what I mean? Like every little, like all these little ones, like, you know, you'd think of little possessions in quarter two, three, you know, you don't run back this one time because you had like this little lapse. All of them matter. You know what I mean? Like you look back on the film, everyone goes to the last position. Oh, we lost by a point, one point, two points. Oh, well, look, we we don't communicate this play. We gave up a layup. Like they had a transition layup because someone didn't run back. It's like all those things matter a lot. And it's hard to see it during the time or even at the end of the game. It's hard to like, oh, we missed the layup for the game winning shot. Like that's not what lost us a game. You know what I mean? So hopefully the the that's what you kind of want the players to really value. Um, just to make sure, again, it's just like, you're not going to think about it during the game, but just so you start, again, building your habits on how urgent you need to be um, because it can actually affect the outcome of a game significantly, you know what I mean? Last question, Parker. 
Um, Steven, so this year you were you were the guy with uh, the most experience regular season and playoffs on the team. Just being being that veteran leader, was there anything that you found out about your your leadership style and just how you're just trying to guide uh, these young players where where they want to be? Oh, I didn't do too much guiding or anything like this, mate. Um, I mean, I have the most experience, but again, it's like um, you kind of have to be in it to understand you know what I'm saying like you can't there's only so much you could say um and you don't really want to I'm in the point well my approach to it was like I don't want to start placing like say markers to where they're trying to validate it what I think of the game you know and their playoff experience if that makes sense like they need to experience it and then they come up with their own joint and then we could talk about it afterwards because as long as they can build their own framework, because I don't know how they think. I value stuff a lot differently to other players, what they value. So it's really important that they get their own personal, like a full experience. So I was, I was really yeah, hands off for most of it. You know, they come up and ask me about some questions and like environment, blah, blah, blah. Like that's all face value stuff, and, you know, kind of bottom tier stuff, fun to talk about. But the important stuff is, yeah, that they go in and just enjoy it, dude. You know what I mean? Like you earned that, you earned that position, that opportunity to play in the postseason. A lot of teams don't play, so it's something you should be very proud of. And obviously, everyone's going to try their best and work really hard and whatnot. But it's just like, dude, it's a very special opportunity, you know. And you you don't take advantage of it at all. You know what I mean? None of it. It's just like, dude, you just don't know when the next opportunity might come. So, yeah. More, more on that, that point. Sounds kind of fatherly, but yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah.